Beloved Muji Baba, hello, hugs and kisses to you. I am so grateful for your tireless service to us and to truth. I often feel the urge to ask you for help, but when I try to form the request, it disappears into silence. Yet it is not long before thoughts and identification come back. Uh, Joel, New York City. It feels like I am playing a game of cat and mouse, while also knowing that the cat, the mouse, and the observer of them do not really exist. <laughs> I hear your voice saying, But who is this I? I have been with you for some years now, yet the bridge between Maya and freedom still seems to be extending and extending. Can you help me? I don't know how to ask for help without using I, yet I is the problem. With so much love, Joel. Thank you, Joel. Um, I often feel the urge to ask for your help, but when I try to form the request, it disappears into silence yet it's not long before the thought and identification come back this is you know sometimes we say like you know the the mind also this mind character the, of the person is very is or very cunning and uh, seem very very clever when you try to catch him then he falls like a possum you know he lies on the ground like dead but he's looking and then you think, ah, good, he's fallen out of the tree. <laughs> good, I can go and take rest. But he's not dead. The mind also, you say, he, sorry, dear, it's okay, leave that. I can't. It says, mm. but when I try to form the request, it just disappears into silence. But it has to disappear as silence, it has to become silence. But it hides into Pretend silence, you see. They think, ah, oh, feel good, thank you. Some people say, as I begin to inquire, uh, what oh, it disappears, it's gone. And then you purchase that and think, ah, oh, how effective is this inquiry? I just I don't even finish inquiry, boom, it's gone. But it's only hiding. You see? So I say, yeah, don't give up. You stay there. Now you invite him, come, come. Come, little possum, come, come, come. Let's take a look. You see? He won't come. Because you know? he knows now you are alert. You know? When you are alert, it means what? You're you're establishing your power. He won't come. He'll try to ambush you when you're, you know? When you, you, your attention is lapsed or something. Let's, it's a bit of a game. Let's have a look and see. Huh? So it comes back. It feels like I'm playing a game of cat and mouse while also knowing that the cat, the mouse, and the observer of them do not really exist. Why is that not enough, Joel? If you know that they don't exist, why is that not enough? I think that's my question. In well, a, in a, yeah. uh, I can tell you, because the admission, I know they don't exist also, is still a form of I. To, 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 to really anchor that I into its root, which is pure awareness, it's not enough to say, I know they don't exist. Because some people say, I know I am the Self. I know I am the Self. 
Actually, the self does not say, I know I am the self. It is just the self. So the tendency of feeling, yes, I know I am not that, I know I am not that, can be a very uh, a form of excuse that, that we allow to go. Because you feel, I know I am not that. Then if you really know you are not that, why would it trouble you? You see? I, yeah. I, yes, I do understand. Um, and it's not just an intellectual knowing. It is it is experienced not as an experience. Yeah. It's a um, confirmation. You can confirm. Yes. 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 Then hold it. Let me read what you say after that then. Uh, um, so it feels like I'm playing a game of cat and mouse while also knowing that the cat, the mouse, and the observer so you are really scooped completely back. The observer of them, which means the one who actually is suffering from the game also, do not really exist. I hear your voice saying, but who is this I who says, I know they don't exist? It's, let, me, let me put it another way. Is not even the very admission that I know they don't exist is also perceivable. Isn't it? Let's try another way. Let's go another way. You know? Um, rather than saying let's who is saying it, let's put it like that. It, it is also perceived that, you know, the the admission, but I know I am not that. I know that these the, these characters don't exist. This I formerly had so much um, venom at so much conviction, at so much identity and support to the identity, but now it is clearly seen that 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 that's that's not true. That I is not real. Why does it keep happening? Why does it keep coming back? Why does it keep coming back? Coming back for who? Just slowly. For who they come back? For the self? No. Mm-mm. So, what what is the coming back? What is affected by the coming back of them? Because, of course, in your natural state, these things may come. You no, know? they, they they do come up because the body mind. As long as the body is there, consciousness is there, the vital force is there, the potential for some thought activity, even for some personal sense of identity will arise and may arise. So that's not the sin. That's not a mistake. Where do we go from there? What happens from there? Quickly they are seen and quickly discarded. Discarded doesn't mean like, oh shush, get away, we'll sweep out the house. No, not fear. Wisdom. You see? Or you use them to see on what are they is their strength based? Now I'm looking at the full screen of everyone. Don't you see? Now you if they seem to persist, even though you have the the conviction, they are not true, it's not real. Then if they are not real, would if you can imagine Sri Ramana Maharishi or Sri Nisagadatta Maharaj or any being you considered to be free, would they be disturbed by the coming back of these things? No. And does it mean that they don't come at all? They may come. And please listen now, because it's very important what I feel I'm going to say now. They may come. The power is not in their coming, but how seriously they are taken. You follow? You can't stop anyone coming at your door and knocking. Bang, bang, bang. You see? But if it means every time someone opens your door, if especially if you live in a very bad neighborhood, hmm, and somebody opens the door, you go, Hello. You know? But you have learned to say, No, let me just check and see. And then you say, Okay, no, not to that. So not everything that uh, uh, that comes into the space of awareness. It is good to see that even if they come, use them as an opportunity to sharpen your discernment, to look and to rather than say no, 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 no. Because if you say no, 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 it can have some touch of fear in that. Do you see or not like that? 
But if you look at it and you have confidence in your discerning ability, you can look at it. Looking at it is not a temptation. Examining it is strengthening your discerning capacity. So when you look and you say, yeah, yes, okay. Um, when I ask, you say here, you see the cat, the mouse, and the observer, or the one who is involved in them, they don't exist. I hear your voice saying, but who is this I? Now, I've been with you for some years now, yet the bridge between Maya and freedom still seems to be extending and extending. Now, what is it that's able to see the polarities, or you say the gap, the bridge between Maya and freedom? Immediately, freedom becomes a kind of place, a kind of position. You see? Please listen. You see, the bridge between Maya and freedom seems to be extending. Okay? Who is watching this extension? So, this idea, the bridge between Maya and freedom is extending, are all thoughts. If you follow that thought, you'll be enmeshed in all kind of techniques to try and squeeze the bridges together. And if I tell you there's no bridge, if I say to you, all of you, but the, what bridge? The bridge is the mind. Are you disturbed? Is something going, what is he talking? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know this bridge. This is my bridge. How can Guruji say it doesn't exist? Then I can see why it would exist, because you, you support the existence of them. But if I tell you, what are you talking about? This, this bridge of, between uh, Maya and freedom is just imagination. If the mind is creating these scenarios. Don't purchase them. This is not true. You see? But don't say it mechanically, it's not true. See. Because I say the very weakness of this this illustration, uh, Maya, freedom, bridge, is still going on. For whom is the bridge uh, uh, expanding? For the imaginary self, the one who is feeling, I'm not doing well, I'm not getting, I'm not getting any better, instead of the, the bridge just being from here to here, it's gone even further, and now, you see, you're getting into this calculation. If I say, cut, can you, are you with me? Yes. Or are you on the bridge? Can you help me? I don't know how to ask for help without using I, and yet I is the problem, you see? So, otherwise, the mind plays clever games with you. Because now I say, in this, in this scenario, in this play, in your play, in you, even this I now become polluted. So even this reject. And don't say, who is going to reject it? Just say, you, you reject it. And what remain now? Just spacious and full at the same time. There's nothing. Yeah, yes, it's, yeah. it's, yes. So, did I teach you a trick? No. Thank you. It is this uh, level of earnestness, uh, you know, that will come because uh, mind can also play the game of awakening. It can also play, you know, yeah, but you know this, and we hear it, you know, yeah, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not this, I'm not that, and yet the smell is not good because there's still an I who is saying, yes, I'm not this, I'm not that, you know, 
when I gave up searching, and you know, now I don't. Uh, there's not a God. There's no self. There's no awareness. There's what? Well, there's you. Uh, no, there's no me. You know, like this. This is uh, foolishness we hear, no? Because the genuine seeker, they can experience what you are experiencing also, but it's just that it needed to be clarified, because subtly. The I was still uh, there. You know, it is said that uh, um, there is a story of one man uh, who didn't like his shadow. He didn't like his shadow. So every time he saw his shadow, ah, he's trying to get rid of the shadow. Trying to get rid of the shadow. So what he did was he never went out in the day because he went out in the day. He couldn't. The shadow was always sun, a shadow, light, shadow. He only go out in night. But one day he had to go out in the day and he was walking a funny way, trying to hide behind the trees and so on to escape the sunlight. Then one man told him, Ah, but all you have to do, you know, is uh, you walk with the sun in front of you. Then the shadow will be behind you. You don't turn around. So he tried that after a while. But then somebody called him, George, and turned around. So, ah, shadow. So like this. So anyhow, one day... He happened to see uh, uh, somebody, some burial of uh, some funeral, and they were burying this, this, um, this body, throwing earth on it. And he had a bright idea: I will bury my shadow. You see. So he dug a big hole. He dug a big hole, and then he stood right with the sun behind him until he saw the shadow fall right into the hole. And then what happened? He started to quickly shovel the earth. Ha <laughs> ha, he's feeling, I got him, I got him. He's burying, burying. So as much as the earth is going in, the shadow is appearing on the top of the earth also. So how to get rid of shadow? You have to get rid of the one who has, who's throwing the shadow also. But how to get rid of it? I'm not telling you a horror story. It's not a violent story. It's a very beautiful thing. Illustration. No? How? What is? What is the point? That the troubles that we are experiencing don't exist by themselves. They only exist for the one who conceive in them and believe in them and identify itself as personally. That is the shape we have uh, taken. You see. And so when I say, as you said yourself, I didn't say before you said it. You said yourself here. No. That um, uh, I feel like I'm playing a game of cat and mouse, while also knowing that the cat, the mouse, and the observer of them do not really exist. And I ask you, why doesn't it stop here? Then I hear your voice saying, "But who is this I? The meaning, the one who is seeing all of this." Then you say again, I have been with you for some years now, yet the bridge between Maya and freedom still seems to be extending and extending. Is that true now? No. 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 What about tomorrow? No. <laughs> no. No. There's, there's only this that has no description, no bridge, nothing. Is that an experience you're having now? Yes. I mean, not an experience. It's it's not a, it's not something that comes and goes. It's ah, not. That's it. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's it. That's it. So, what do you have to do now? Nothing. 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 <laughs> nothing. So, uh, you're going to give up work and all this kind of stuff and uh, all this no, stuff. No, 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 no. Everything can happen. Everything, everything can be here. Yeah. It's. I think what you said about uh, if for Ramana Maharshi some identification came up. Yeah. It's not a problem. Yes. I think. I think that point. Um, that helps me so much because. It does come up, but it's not a problem. So yes. I think in my earnestness, I started to feel like, but it's coming up. So And it shouldn't. Yeah. Right, right. So right. It, this is why I would finish that statement. So the why is not a problem for them? Because they don't have an idea that these things should not come. Right. 
it can appear, you know, somebody can try and sell you your own car. I, I'm there, anything can happen. You see, yes. you don't tell them, get away. How could you dare try and so somebody can come and ask you, excuse me, you know, I'm not feeling well and I, I, I need a, a, a kidney transplant. Can I, can I just, uh, can I give you, uh, I'll give you a hundred dollars for yours. And you know, oh, oh, I can't believe somebody out look at the world these days. Oh, no, you can you can say, hey, that's really good. That's really funny. I'm gonna. Can you say that again? I wanna. I'm gonna record that. That's just so funny. <laughs> you see, you cannot. It, it's the problem is when you think something should not happen, or should not appear. It can appear, yeah. mm, because it will disappear if you don't, you know, grab it and say, yeah, you know, I mean, can we make a deal? You know, you you remember yourself. And by remembering yourself, you find a completeness and a sense that, of choice. You know. Mm. Yeah, that's. I would say that's mostly. I mean, my experience is. Yeah. It, it's there. It's in that space. Yeah. Spaceless space. Yeah. Only to be honored, no. Yes. Yeah. Love you. Thank you so much. I love you so much. I love you, love you, love you so much. So wonderful. Thank you, John.